All right, so part two of how to do it is once we have all the ones that we're going to need, we're gonna go ahead and press make it. And it's going to sort all the project into um, the mat. And we're going to go ahead and press continue. And then we're going to send it to the printer. And over here we're, well, I'm going to send it to my network computer, but make sure that you have add bleed. Um, that way, if it messes up the circle, it at least bleeds all the way to the... And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and press print. And then once that's done, um, I already went ahead and printed it out for everybody. And um, I do add packaging tape. Um, before you cut it that way yeah, I messed up a little bit here but it doesn't really matter so this is how it prints out and you already put the little packaging tape and I always close the lid so that it's a little bit darker so that it can read the lines make sure that when you do add the packaging tape you don't cover any of the lines around it so that it's able to read it and then the actual dial that I use is vinyl plus and then I'm just gonna go ahead and press cut and whenever you want you can go ahead and start and yes I have a uh, small child that loves to pull around my cricket so Basically, it's just reading the lines. Like I said, make sure that the packaging tape does not cover it because otherwise the readings might be off or it might not read it properly. So just make sure that everything is, like those lines are not covered. And of course, um, the blade that I use is the 45, the red top. I do get mine from uh, Amazon. Although you could use the German carb carbine, I think they're called. drop them down below and I'll make sure that I can answer anything that you might, any questions. Have a great day.